Hey everybody, it's Michelle West here and welcome back to my channel where I create videos to help inform, motivate, and inspire you to get up, move, and live a healthier life. Now, today we're going to make some butternut squash chili. Chili, chili, chili. This is one of my favorite recipes and it's also vegan. <laughs> it's vegan and vegetarian. Well, wouldn't that be the same? That's okay, it doesn't matter. It's vegan and vegetarian. So I wanted to make a vlog of different recipes that are healthy that you can make at home for you and for your families. Um, honestly, I am not a chef. I am not a nutritionist. But I can give you healthy dishes that I make at home so you can make them at home. But you know what they say, 20% fitness, 80% what you do in the kitchen, okay? That's how you get <laughs> the abdominals. That's how you get the abdominals, okay? So we are gonna make some healthy dishes here and I'm gonna teach you how to make some butternut squash chili. I got this recipe right online and we're gonna get right into it. Nice, awesome. Okay, so here's your ingredients that you need to make your butternut squash chili. Obviously, your butternut squash, two cans of black beans olive oil, diced tomatoes, chipotle pepper, vegetable broth, garlic, we got a red onion, red peppers, and here are spices. Some spices that you need for the recipe are cumin, you need your cinnamon, you need your salt and your pepper, because salt and pepper goes in everything, all right? We got bay leaves, and we got chili powder. Okay, so that's really all you need for this recipe. We're gonna break it down now and I'm gonna teach you how to make it. Okay guys, so the first thing we wanna do is cut up the butternut squash. Use my thick knife, okay? And cut right through it, yeah? Nice, okay, we're gonna put this one to the side because you only need about a pound and a half. And I peel this thing, okay? Where's my peeler? Nice, gonna peel, gonna peel, gonna peel. Okay, done peeling, got our peel. We wanna get a nice dice, but make them nice and medium, okay? Don't cut them too small. Don't cut them too small, don't cut them too small because you're gonna need this trick at the end. So, Make sure they're nice and medium pieces. Okay. Done. Next thing we're gonna chop. Red pepper, red pepper. Okay, pepper's done. They're in the bowl. Okay. This is my favorite part. The onion. Ooh, I love onion. I'm gonna use this whole thing, okay? If you don't know how to dice an onion, it's your lucky day. I'm gonna teach you how to dice an onion, baby. Okay, so this end, that's the butt of the onion. Keep that on. This end, where the hair is hanging out, and that's the top. We're gonna cut that off. Cut off the top, nice. Now that made it really easy to be able to peel off the skin. Now, where the butt is of the onion, yeah, you're just going to cut. Straight down. Now you got two halves, two halves, two halves. Now you're gonna cut around the onion. Straight down the sides. This is how you dice an onion nice and fast, everybody. Boom. And there. I turn the onion around, and I do the same exact thing on the opposite side. I learned how to dice an onion at a cereal table cooking class, okay? And ever since I learned how to dice an onion, I love dicing onions, it's my favorite thing to do, okay? I always ask if I can do this. So, here we go, the magic's about to happen. You done bloomed onion your onion, okay? Bloomin' onion from Texas Roadhouse. All right, now, cut down. Oh my goodness, look at that beautiful. Look at that beautiful dice. Nice. Straight down. And all the way 
till you don't feel comfortable. That's what don't feel comfortable. Okay? Then you got your dice. Nice. Good job, everybody. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna prep the spices first before we cook this, all right? My mother-in-law had these at her house, okay? And I was like, when I get a house, I'ma have these things. It's just so easy to have it prep, 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 and then you just throw it in. So I advise you getting these. I got these off of Amazon. You just go get them off of Amazon, okay? So first thing we need, four cloves of garlic. Okay guys, let's get started with the cooking. Let's turn, oh, wrong one. Let's turn on our heat. I'm gonna heat up that pan. I got a nice Dutch oven here. I got this on Amazon. But, you know, you don't have to buy the fancy one at Serve a Table, okay? Those are expensive. We got this one. It was less price and it works just as good, okay? I actually will link this down into the description box if you want this one or if you want to find this one specifically because this is man our lives changed when we bought this thing okay and then two nice okay we're ready let's go all of your vegetables that you put in the bowl you're gonna put in your dutch oven or your pot i'm gonna start Cooking that up. Right now, it's still your onions get translucent. First thing we're gonna do is put in the garlic so we can ferment that for 30 seconds. Get that nice and mixed in. Chili powder, chipotle pepper, cumin, cinnamon. These spices are what make the recipe. Okay, now I wanna take everything else and put it in this pan. Pop. Put it in the pot. Bay leaf, tomatoes, and with the juices. We want all of that. Black beans, rinsed. Put that all in there. And your vegetable broth. That's one. And that's two. Now, literally guys, it's just sit and wait. We're gonna cover the pot and we're gonna just let it relax here. We're gonna let it simmer. We're gonna let it simmer. One hour later. Oh, baby, look at it. Nice. Okay, okay, so the process is not quite done yet. I'm gonna show you what I do. Now, the recipe says basically this will cool down and you can eat it just like this. But this is something I like to do. Take a look. You take the butternut squash and you're gonna smush it on the side. So this is what I said about not having the squash so small because we wanna get that thick consistency. And the thick consistency comes from squishing this squash on the side of the pan. Yeah, you see how that squishes up? And you're gonna bring it back down. You're gonna do that with all, pretty much all, of the butternut squash for breaking it down. So now we got that nice chili base. Yeah, it's looking delicious. Looking delicious. I'm ready to eat. I can't wait. Nice. And, of course, from here, make sure you'll get your salt and pepper in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Okay guys, so our food is ready, but we gotta feed the coaster first. That's it, that's how you make the butternut squash chili. <laughs> Okay guys, so if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'll link everything down in the description box on how to make the butternut squash chili. Make sure you let me know how it goes. Enjoy your chili, everybody. So good, so, so good. Butternut squash chili, yes, so, so. Good. Bye, everybody.